is AJ here and today we've got an unboxing like no other. We have an iPhone mini. Look at that. iPhone 12 mini rather. Very thin box compared to what we used to have. Let me just try and compare the size. Because Apple saved this one up to save towards the environment. So there we go. So that's the two boxes. That's my iPhone 11 Pro Max box. Then we have this one. There you go. Here it is. So here's a little green, mint green, I'd say. iPhone 11 Mini. Look at those edges. Just like the old 4S that I love. But look at the size compared to the L11. It is tiny, tiny, teeny, very, very small indeed. Very small indeed. Look at that. Depth as well, thickness, whichever you want to call it. Not a lot of difference. But there is a bit of difference at the bottom there as you can see so what you have is mint green which now looks a bit white but it's pretty good i like it it's small it's pretty good in the hand compared to this one but i think probably text wise it's probably going to be not a lot of difference um, in the fact that yeah but there you go, so you've got your 5G antennas there. You've got your European writing for some goddamn reason. Can you see it? Can you see it? Not really. But it's there anyway, which ruins it. And then you've just got a few little speaker bits there and a microphone. Very small indeed, but nicely done. But yeah. So the iPhone 13 is going to hopefully not have the port because QI or QI fast charging is going to be very fast indeed. Now, what do we get in the box? I hear you say. So, if you don't know, you get this symbol on here, very thin, and then you get your your cable USB C, so lightning which hopefully they get rid of lightning next and then you've got your bits and pieces in here you have your apple stickers and you have your little for the sim tray sim card tree go in there a little bit of information european rules and all that and that's about it put that back in there so yeah, that's it, nice little phone, got your cool little features, that is my unboxing of today. So mint green, um, very nice indeed, it feels exactly like the iPhone 4S, without a doubt, it is lovely. So if you are not sure about getting one of these, um, believe me, it is worth the money, because for about £24 a month here in the UK, you can't really go wrong um, obviously you need to have 5g in your area really to appreciate the speed but then again 4g in my area is pretty fast um, where this if it's 5g and it's a small phone like this i mean you're laughing really aren't you you just it's just awesome and it packs all the features of ios 14 um, so yeah you know, it's, it's definitely worth getting, definitely worth getting. Um, but iPhone 13 should have fingerprint reader in the button, I hope, which would be good, because you could just do that and then that's it. Um, and then not much else to do then, is there really? Face ID with it, maybe no notch would be good, would be great as well. But if you look at the cameras, how different they are. Um, this is obviously still similar to the iPhone 11, but 
as you do iPhone 11 Pro. And then if you get the Pro version of this, you obviously get different camera there set up. Much more powerful, powerful than this, but not hugely. I mean, you know, these phones are still really, really good. Um, the iPhone 11 Pro Max, very good indeed. Very good bit of kit, and I like it a lot. So, yeah, it's good. Um, but yeah, this one definitely. If I was gonna, if I wanted a small phone, you know, maybe just a phone to use abroad, maybe just a little business phone. You know, like I say, these pack a punch and um, they are worth getting. They don't have a LiDAR on this, um, but the Pro and the Pro Max do. Um, so it's not a problem, you know. It's not for everyone, the LiDAR. Um, capable of relatively fast. I think it's up to 12 um, watts if you do Cree charging with this. And then I think it's 15 watts to 18 watts with the Pro versions. But rumour has it, the iPhone 13 is going to have even faster Cree charging. So hence, they should be getting rid of this port very soon in the next couple of years, I would say. Um, probably be the first phone to go portless, major company to do that. So yeah, pretty good things coming up soon, very much in the next couple of years. But yeah, I like it, nice solid phone. Nice solid feel with this, the iPhone 11. They do slip a little bit, but this I do like. So please rate, subscribe, follow me, spread the word, share my content, and I'll see you all soon. Bye for now.